communication inakuwa kidogo ni changamoto. Jaiva mpata alijua kwa mambo yake anafanya vizuri Nigeria. Yeah. Akaona ni opportunity. So Jaiva ni opportunist. Mnaelewa vizuri? Yeah, opportunist. Alivyoona eh wanakuambia ukipewa na ukipewa nafasi unaonesha uwezo. Yeah, man. So amesafiri amekwenda Nigeria. The thing ni kwamba na vitu vina disappear hapa vipi? Yeah. Boy, utaalamu wa Menila vizuri. The thing ni kwamba amefika, ameenda safari yake imemachua imekuwa nzuri zaidi. Na hata ukiangalia alichokuwa anakifanya kimekuwa bora zaidi. Lakini naona bana Tony kuna baadhi ya wasanii hapa bongo ngoma zao zimesha hit sehemu nyingi. Yama. Lakini sio wao wakienda. Shida ni nini? Kesi ndio iko hapo kama alivyosema mara ya kwanza. Communication. Umenielewa? Uh, Mimi najua kila msanii ana dashboard. Unajua dashboard na kuonesha travel bana wewe ngoma yako inafanya vizuri sana same plan si umenielewa Yaman yeah, na ni namna ambayo ina kushape pia ujue okay so mi kama nafanya vizuri same plan that means kuna baadhi ya vitu natakiwa kufanya zaidi sehemu hiyo kama ipo kwenye plan zako lakini umenielewa ili uendelee kukonka uendelee kufanya vizuri watu waendelee kukujua na vitu kama hivyo so yeah. kitaalam ni kwamba communication ni nzuri nikisema communication inamaanisha nini lugha Uh, ah tume, tumetoka kwenye kipaji kama kipaji lakini imekuja biashara. Oh yeah. Sio umeelewa? Yeah. Of course kuna msemo unaambiwa music is a universal language like kila sehemu duniani unaweza kuelewa kupitia melody, Definitely. uwasilishaji na mambo ambayo unafanya feeling hisia zako kwenye ngoma na vitu kama hivyo. Oh yeah. Ila mtu atafeel hiyo hisia anaposikiliza wimbo wakikuhitaji sasa wajue zaidi kuhusu wewe watakusikia kwa hisia watakuelewa kwa kufeel au kwa kukommunicate kuwasiliana no, yeah. lazima muongee sio umeelewa so nimependa the way ilivyosema kwamba Jaiva ni opportunist like ni mwana ambaye ameona kabisa mimi wimbo wangu unafanya vizuri Tanzania mm. Tanzania ni home wananielewa mm. umeelewa kwa sababu sio kautaka tu imefanya vizuri bongo maburuda yeah. magoma kibao yeah. ila akiangalia dashboard yake Anaona bwana Nigeria ngoma yangu inafanya vizuri sana. Mm. Umeelewa? Ndio mm. unadondoka hapo kwenye opportunist. Like ameona hii ni opportunity, ni nafasi. Oh, yeah. Kwa hiyo naitumiaje hii nafasi? I have to go there. Inabidi niende niongee nao wa Nigeria wenyewe. Kama inafanya vizuri media inabidi nifanye media tour. Mm. Kama inafanya vizuri street maana yake labidi nifanye club tour maana yake lazima watu naicheza ngoma club. Mm. Asa uta communicate vipi? Utawasiliana vipi na hao watu kama lugha so mchongo? Ah. <laughs> Kuna maanisha kwamba Eh, kuna wasanii lugha ni changamoto. Of course wengi sana bongo. Wengi sana na ni tatizo ambalo niamini mimi. Inaweza isiwe ni tatizo sasa hivi kwa sababu unaweza kuwa unaokota Dodoma, unaokota Mbeya, unaokota Morogoro na vitu kama hivyo. Yeah. Ila ninachoamini blowing mtu kuwa mkubwa una unaweza kuwa mkubwa bila kutarajia. Like ukatoa goma leo afu boom likaondoka. Mimi jaiva siamini kama aliwaza ali, ali, au alijua kama kautaka inaweza ikafika level ambayo yuko sasa hivi. Yeah. Sio umeelewa? Okay. Of course. Najaribu, najaribu kuwa nakutafuta na kuelewa. Yeah, 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 Ndio maanisha kwamba kuna kipindi Mario amekuwa ame mkubwa sana. Of course. Ngoma zake zinafanya vizuri. Yeah. Hatari kwenye mataifa tofauti tofauti. Yeah. Chino ndio huyu hapa yani. Yeah. Mimi kuna mtu ananipa taarifa pale Rwanda ni hatari yani magoma yana ya, ya chino hatari kakao. Of course. So inabidi aende. Asa kienda anaongea vipi? Tena nitafuta Mkalimani. Asa Mkalimani nikuchelewesha kakaangu. <laughs> yani Mkalimani anakuchelewesha. Na kitu ambacho ninakiona ni kwamba wasanii wetu wa bongo kuna namna inabidi tujue hata basic. Unajua unaweza usijue Kiingereza kile cha ndani. Ila ukao una basic. Like mtu akikwambia kitu ah. unaweza kumuelewa. No if oh, I can do. Student soma. What, what you get? Inakusaidia kaka kuliko ukiwa ujui kabisa kwa sababu gani? Unaenda Nigeria leo unafanya interview unadondoka sijui club gani unatakiwa upige show pale uongee na watu wako unakutana na kina Davido mzee wangu unaona Jaiva akutana na kina David huko Nigeria akakutana na watu kama kina Neptune yeah, watu, watu kama kina Fast the Bold Guy Pokoli yeah, umensoma sijui oh, yeah. so ili waweze kuelewa vizuri wajue nini unacho ile deep down ukiachana tu na ile ngoma ambayo ime trend kwao you need to communicate inabidi muongee mzee wangu inabidi mjuane inabidi utengeneze marafiki wapya pia ambao on one way or another kesho ukitoa ngoma hata kama isipo blow kwa level ile ambayo ngoma yako before ili blow wanaweza wakakubeba wakakusupport hey, wajua ni mwana yetu tunaongea na vitu kama hivyo so what can say ni kwamba tuna kila sababu so kumbe unanirudisha miaka ya nyuma yeah. pale ambapo diamond platinum alikuwa anaona kama ni kuliko kuzunguka zaidi kwenda kufanya media tour yeah. 
ni bora zaidi nikapiga makolabo na watu wa mataifa tofauti na kuna kipindi makolabo yalitoka mengi sana. Umenielewa sio hii? Kolabo sio na Pisquea. Kolabo na Mr. Easy. Sio nani ule yeah. anaitwa sui. Eh sui nani ikiti wa Savage. Mimi nitakupa mfano. Kenya wanatuelewa lugha yetu. Like we can Tunajua tunaelewana yani kabisa. Oh yeah. Sio mensoma. Lakini wasani wengi wanaenda huko Kenya yani wabongo wengi ukisikia ah mimi napiga media tu mwanangu malangu najua na mipango nao mingi yeah. sasa ndoka Kenya yeah. sababu najua watu ongea zao Kiswahili pia French wataelewana <laughs> sio umeelewa eh. akienda sana mtoto adondoka zake Rwanda unajua yeah, Burundi Burundi ni watu ambao Kongo. we almost talk the same language oh yeah. sio umeelewa kwa kiasi flani ila mimi nataka kurudisha nyuma hao magoma ambao wanasema diamond alikuwa anafanya makolabo na watu gani huko nje yeah. hebu pata picha ana kolabo na nani Omarion eh yeah, Omarion ah, ndio kazi yake pale State African Beauty uh, sio umeelewa anapiga interview media mbili tatu fulani hivi hata kama yeye hawezi kukonvince yeah. basi kupitia mgongo wa Omarion stupo wote mzangu kwenye goma hey. tuzunguke na ile goma ona nafasi utasikilizwa tuongea bro Steven Soma oh alidondoka pale mafiki zolo tena yes. tena kileti kage na ikumbuke umenisoma sio hii yeah aya tunadondoka tunasema ana goma na Rick Rose oh yeah He's a boss mkubwa. No oh, yeah. Amekupa collab convince bus mzee wangu kwamba mzee wangu we need to go there. Na ongea hivyo kwa nini? Na naongelea ni advantage gani msanii unaweza kuzipata kama ukijua lugha kidogo. Si sema kwamba Diamond hajui. Yeah. No, ila <laughs> yes ameshapita huko tayari okay. na tumeona ame force man. Diamond mimi naona najua ma interview yake amefanya Marekani. Zipo kwenye YouTube by the way. Umeelewa akafanya Nigeria, akafanya mataifa tofauti tofauti. Yeah. Ila yuko wapi save Diamond? Bali sana. Si umeelewa. Kwa hiyo unachomaanisha ni kwamba size Mario aende wapi au J Melody unataka aende wapi? ajifunze lugha je melody aende wapi alimetolea mfano wa deal na, na dashboard kwa sababu msanii anakuaga na ile dashboard ya DSP zake digital platform oh, wapi ngoma yake anafanya vizuri ndio maana je melody kila siku baada ya wiki mbili yuko Mombasa okay watu wanapenda mziki wake <laughs> yeah. si umeelewa yeah. anaelewana nao eh hey, Mombasa tunabonga bwana well and good fresh, uh, fresh. yeah ila kitu unachokisema ni kwamba je yeah, kesho ikitokea kama jaiva ngome me pop Nigeria alafu ujui lolote ngoma lime pop gana okay sio umeelewa kaka yangu ngoma lime ah kuna namuona mboso mayote de baada thank you mboso mboso mimi najua sio mzuri sana kwenye lugha uh, lakini yeah. mboso wa sasa hivi ni yeah. tofauti sana na yule mboso ambaye mimi namjua before okay umeelewa oh yeah mboso kuna vitu anakugusia kabisa unaona okay sio <laughs> umenisoma niamini mimi Mboso kuna vitu nakugusia kaka unamsikia kabisa kwamba ah so ah kwa hiyo unamtofautisha yule mboso na maromboso big time tofauti ah tofauti <laughs> okay point yangu point yangu sio kwamba flani na flani hawajui au flani na flani wanajua oh, nataka yeah. nikupe mfano uh, yeah. sasa hivi Jaiva kupitia project yake akautaka anafanya vizuri sana Nigeria sijui umeelewa mimi niliongea naye juice kati hapa akapiga show ma state kibao nikisema state ki Nigeria uh, kibongo bongo ni kama mikoa ni sema umeelewa kapiga mikoa mingi sana kapiga shows same nyingi interview kafanya almost media zote kubwa Afrika hii ambazo zipo Nigeria wao unazijua sio umeelewa lakini ukiangalia ni nini ambacho kimempa hiyo courage ya kufanya vitu vyote hivyo au ya kuongea na watu wote hao ni kitu kimoja tu aliona dashboard yake ngoma yake anafanya vizuri same flani akaona okay mimi we can communicate yani hatuna hizo language barriers sio umeelewa tunaweza tukaongea na tukaelewana ndio maana sasa hivi tunavyoongea uh, Jaiva amefanya session yake ya Kautaka Greech Africa. Yeah. Sio umenisoma? Mm-hmm. Greech Africa hiyo ni platform ambayo huipati tu from nowhere kwa sababu lazima uongee the story behind ya wimbo wako. Yeah. Sio umenisoma? Yeah. Ameifanya Jaiva mwaka huu. Dada yako mwambie ajifunze lugha. Una dada zako wengi sana. Dada dada zake wawili hapa. Wa Mwaka UF 2024 yeah. Jaiva kutoka Tanzania mm. amepata Greech Africa Kautaka yeah. bonge moja la session. Yeah. Mwaka jana Uh, zuchu mm. ngoma yake ya kwikwi alienda yeah. kuifanya hiyo Greech Africa session mm. yeah. noma ila lazima alikuwa anatoa story behind What the song yeah. ameongea lugha pale anajua mm-hmm. nandi mwaka 2022 ngoma yake na pona amefanya na Oxlade kutoka Nigeria mm. napona napona yeah. mbona anasema kama nandi kama lugha ipana ah ah wewe unamjua na ndio namjua na ndio Anapa- lugha inapanda sana alienda kwenye mashindano ya techno yale Wea. and alikuwa anaongea kiingereza nandi lugha yake noma ah mtaka mniue ah kwa sababu 
so far hadi sasa hivi hadi sasa hivi Tanzania leteni Nandi hapa hadi sasa hivi Tanzania eh, kakaangu eh, ni Nandi eh, ameenda Greech Africa 2022 eh, na advantage unaiona ngoma yake lazima iende mm. Nandi ameenda Afrika ameenda kuperform ma Nigeria manini yeah. the platform is big ana mtu yuko pembeni vipi ila mtu kwani aongee yaani ngoja nikupe mfano i know you apoje kwa mfano amesema wewe nandi mpaka mbeda wake wa kazi anaongea kiingereza totori so kitalam ni kwamba hadi sasa hivi Tanzania tuna Jaiva tuna Zuchu na Nandi ndio wasanii pekee ambao wameenda kupata hii session ya Glitch Africa yeah. ila sio kwa sababu ndio wasanii pekee wanaojua lugha no mm. tuna wasanii wengi sana bongo yeah. wanajua hawajapata hii nafasi mm. ila miongoni mwa fact ambazo inawezeka kukusaidia wewe kupata hii nafasi mm. ni pamoja na kujua lugha lugha ni muhimu sana ndugu zangu sana yeah. ni, ni na kitu nimekiona hapa cha Jaiva okay kuna nime short interview ya Jaiva ambao alikuwa anaifanya Jaiva Inset ambao alikuwa anaifanya Glitch Africa yeah. wakati anafanya session yake akautaka mm. nataka unielewe mm. hichi ninachokisema yeah. kila mtu anaweza akapata nafasi ya kwenda yeah. kufanya session ya wimbo wake live mm. ila unaweza ukawaelekeza the reason like nini kilisababisha hadi wimbo ukatokea mm-hmm. wimbo unamaanisha nini We. kwa sababu ukiingia kwenye hiyo glitch session ya Jaiva yeah. Jaiva alivyokuwa anaelezea kautaka ni nini na nini ni maana wa Nigeria wengi oh kumbe tulikuwa tunaimba tofauti maana yake ni hivi yeah. unajua maana yake nini wanaenda kuongeza ile groove anakuwa anaifuatilia zaidi yeah. ngoma kwa hiyo eh. mimi nakusa mnataka kutuambia nini wewe nakusa nataka kuambia hivi ongeeni na watu kuna vitu vinatokea ukiwa unajua lugha mm. sikia Jaiva hapa kidogo yeah. So the song that I just performed is called Kautaka actually and it means she wants it and it's a pure 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 street jam you know back in TZ is doing great because you know I was able to like touch their hearts Kautaka simply means she wants it and in that song I'm simply uh, saying to these uh, young generations yeah that anytime you know a girl wants something they should give it How did the song come to be? Okay, it started off as a, a freestyle. Actually, you know, we were in the car cruising down the street with my boy, you know, Mario, and you know, he started recording me, you know, the beat was playing in the background. He wanted me to do a freestyle and I went like to kauta, to kauta, just like that. He posted it viral. Next thing you know, then it took me like, you know, two months like to finish it because you know the media, the people, fans were like, were like, you know, calling out for a release now. So I decided to like, okay, let me do it. Then it took me like two months because everything I did, I didn't feel it. Everything I did, I didn't feel it. Then one day I found this William Toto that changed everything. And I said, okay, have it. And yeah, where well, now you go, we have a hit. Global hit bedu afrobeat is taking over has taken over already now we have uh, i'm a piano taking over uh, back home we have bongo so cruising in aina like down street uh or our food and that took mario always acheni nyema. Wazani ni chai kaka kila mtu anapuliza <laughs> anaweka majani na sukari. Sikiliza Mario hivi, hivi vitu vidogo sana kwa hiyo. Ah, kuweza unaweza kwa dakika ngapi? Thank you. Wasikiliza hivi vitu vidogo sana kwa Jay Melo. Mimi nani nichopenda kwa Jaiva? Anasema it was uyo mtoto. When I do that, that was hit. Gebu. Umeona Gebu? Gebu ni ki Nigeria. Ni maana yake ni vibe yani hit. Umeelewa? So, kwa muda mchache tu ambao ni kadi Nigeria. Uyo mtoto ame adapt hadi baadhi yeah. ya vitu vya Nigeria. Maana yake nini? Akifanya ngoma nyingine anaweza katia hizo spices mm-hmm. kwa sababu mm-hmm. Nigeria tayari wameshamsikiliza wanamkubali. Akajikuta anaendelea kwenda. Anaendelea kwenda. Na ndio inavyotakiwa msanii na biwe inabidi wewe oh, yeah. wewe pesa. Oh, yeah. Hivi vitu vidogo sana kwa Bill Nassif. Lugha Hey. Lugha ni muhimu. Nimekusikia hapa huko unamwambia na Hivi tu vidogo sana kwa DJ Diomi. DJ Diomi unafanya vizuri sana Marekani. Lugha ni muhimu. Hebu msikize mama. Lugha ni muhimu kwa sababu we're not talking about music peke yake. Oh. Kuna other deals ambazo zinaweza zikatokea. I don't know music. Ah mimi nakuelewa. Diamond Platinum anaenda kufanya Young Famous in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Ile pale huwezi kuongea Kiswahili. Aliulizwa anaenda kama ngapi? Akasema 31st. Yes. Baada ya 31st. <laughs> Lakini sio shida kwa sababu ni kosa kidogo tu hamna mtu ambaye yuko perfect. Hii lugha imekuja na Kila mtu unamuelewa kidogo. Lakini unamuelewa at least huyu ana effort za kujifunza. Nimekupa nimependa ulitaka kumbe mifano naitoa ili kupeleka maandishi. 
Ah, Umenelewa. Mm-hmm. So unaweza tukapata collab lako fulani hivi kwenye movie fulani ya mtu. Yeah. Ukawa tu sharp ku catch up the script. Exactly. Sama script pia unajua script inabidi ujue concept mm-hmm. then uongee vitu vyako. Wasanii wa umeigizwa na wana shida sasa. Diomi, niandalie lolo mtoto remix. Roma is analo. Dakika na kanne haina neno. Lao watu wa Nigeria. So, Nigeria so, po, point yangu ni hii guys. Mimi oh, yeah. sitaki watu wani quote vibaya. My mm-hmm. point ni kwamba tuna nafasi kubwa sana ya kuikuza bongo flavor kimataifa kwa sababu tu ya vitu vidogo vidogo sana yeah. issue kama lugha ukiwa unajua msanii dashboard yako like wimbo wangu unafanya vizuri sana South Africa yeah. unajua kabisa tuna universal language like business language kiingereza so you can go anywhere ukafanya interview at any media yeah. na ukaongea na mtu yeyote yule bro ukaendelea kukuza hiyo awareness about your music umeelewa mm-hmm. kuhusu hata culture ya sehemu unayotokea kwa kusema hivyo naomba ni declare kabisa kwamba Jaiva so far so good 2024 kwa new generation new artist mm-hmm. ameheshimisha kinoma bongo flavor my Alisa brother tuzo, eh? yani big time unajua juzi uh, ah liwen. time watu na time watu na namna cha juzi liweni salipa ile career uh, achievement award yeah. we need to give it to him to Jaiva ah exactly. uh, tutatoa kesho na bonge nayo kulikuwa kuna issue ya wale uh, waliofariki kwa uh, madawa ya kulevia at the young age uh, kwa umri mdogo ah yeah. uh, natamani hiyo kitu tujenayo kesho na watu waipokee vizuri bana e wasanii wenzangu achanane na maneno ya Tony na maneno ya Momo asamsikilizeni <laughs> traveler kiswahili traveler pigeni bongo flavor asemaje wakalimani nao pate hela zao wakusikiliza afu wataona wakalimani wachi wa china huko wakalimani ugawapeleka kila sehemu by the way shout out to everyone ambaye alikuwa anaangalia Crown TV yeah. 1415 oh yeah tulikuwa live by the way guys yeah no man kabisa nyamwezi kabisa yeah bana naoma sana sisi tuna sign up mini traveler bang Momo alikwepo hapa Tony Six Brown Media Brown Media Hapa ni nyumbani